Okay, this is a tribute to writer Stephen E. D'Souza, who, as you'll see, wrote many an action classic. He started off writing for TV shows like The Six Million Dollar Man, Vanit Woman. He did a TV movie called The Renegade in 1982, then some episodes of Knight Rider, but then he wrote 48 Hours, starring Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy, and directed by the great Walter Hill. So, that was his big break. Then, 83, he did The Return of Captain Invincible. I know very little about that. He created a TV series called The Powers of Matthew Starr in uh, 82 to 83. Only ran for one season. Don't know that. He wrote one episode of V in 84. But then, back to the big time, Commando in 85. Launching... Arnie as a massive action hero. Then, I didn't know, that's the Spirit TV movie from 1987, which is a comic book movie, but was done in the 2000s, but unsuccessfully. Then, also in 1987, he wrote the screenplay for The Running Man based on the Richard Bachman book and made it into an Arnie vehicle, so it's nothing like the book. Uh, let's see, where are we going? He did a horror film, Bad Dreams, in 88. Another TV series he created, Super Carrier, in 1988, but only ran for eight episodes. And then probably his most famous work, Die Hard, in 88. So, yeah, beginning to see a pattern here, except for he had two years off. And then in 1990, he made K9000, about a... Uh, Cyborg Dog, I think it is. It's a TV movie, and I have to check it out when I find it. Uh, more Die Hard as well in 1990. Knocked out the screenplay for Die Hard 2. So, another great action film. Let's put that one by the original. And then in 1991, he routine with Bruce Willis again for Hudson Hawk, which was supposed to be the big hit of the summer and was critically panned by critics who know nothing about entertainment because <laughs> that's all it is then or uh, also in 91 he did ricochet with denzel washington and john lithgow that's a, another great not really an action film but it's a thriller he did a tv show called cadillacs and dinosaurs in 93 that only ran for 13 episodes but i've never even heard of that one and then 94 did the flintstones which was supposed to be Probably one of the biggest films of the decade, but it's not that good. And it wasn't that popular when it came out, especially in the UK. Also in 94, he wrote Beverly Hills Cop 3, which we all know what that's like. Uh, then in 94, he wrote and directed Street Fighter with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Uh, so yeah, only mugs would think that. A guilty pleasure so why not do this one as well judge dread in 95 was the loan uh, so yeah like all these films are great entertainment but i don't think they're gonna win many awards then a three-year break he wrote knockoff for van damme another rob schneider film after judge dread uh, this one's more of a Hong Kong action uh, than an American one. Right, where did we get to? That, I am out of VHS because 2000s he did a TV movie in, in 2000 called Possessed, I don't know about. A TV series again called Adventure Inc. in 2002. He gets a story credit for the Laura Croft Tomb Raider sequel, Cradle of Life. And the last few things he's done is Blast, which is a... 2004 movie that I know nothing about and then 2008 TV movie called Gotta Catch Santa Claus that he wrote and then he did a TV series 2008 to 2011 so it ran for two seasons apparently uh, of a show called Unknown Sender which I don't know anything about hmm. but it seems to be an anthology series of thrillers and science fiction writers but there we go thank you for watching here end of the lesson.